Okay, at this time, I'll call to order the Tuesday, July 17th, 2018 meeting of the Iredell County Board of Commissioners. And at this time, I'd ask if you would all please bow your head for a uh, few moments of silent prayer or reflection. Please rise and join us with the Pledge of Allegiance. Ms. Jones, if you could please review any adjustments to the agenda. Thank you, Chairman Mallory. We do have two adjustments. One, we have an additional item that will be added under new business. And then we will be moving one item, which is item 8.6 under administrative matters. That will move up and we'll, we'll address that item right after the presentation of special recognitions and awards, item 5.1. Okay. Are there any further adjustments to the agenda? Is there a motion to approve the agenda as adjusted? So moved. Motion by Commissioner Halp. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Okay, at this time, uh, we have uh, some presentation of special recognitions and awards. Uh, first, uh, we have uh, Mr. Kent Green, who will uh, share with us a re resolution that is being proposed to recognize and honor Iredell County Amateur Radi Radio Emergency Services. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to personally thank the, uh, the board for sponsoring this resolution. A lot of counties don't use their amateur radio operators uh, as extensively as Iredell County does. In the event of a catastrophic failure of our communication systems, these individuals have the ability to communicate when traditional radio systems cannot. So we definitely rely on these, these folks uh, to support us and they are more than willing to do that. They have a, a robust membership in their local club, and we would just like to honor them and recognize them tonight for the contributions they provide to Iredell County and, and our Office in Emergency Management. If it pleases you, I'd like to go ahead and read the resolution. Uh, I'll go ahead and read it. Go ahead, sir. And, yes. Uh, this is a uh, proposed resolution of the Iredell County Board of Commissioners recognizing and honoring the Iredell County Amateur Radio Emergency Services for their contributions and dedication to supporting Iredell County. And whereas the Amateur Radio Emergency Services consists of licensed amateurs who have voluntarily registered their qualifications and equipment for communications duty in the public service when disaster strikes, and whereas the members of the Iredell County Amateur Radio Emergency Services are dedicated individuals that provide a critical service in times when other communication methods may fail, and whereas the members of the Iredell County Amateur Radio Emergency Services are trained, skilled, and equipped with the latest technology acquired at their own expense, and whereas there are over 31,000 Amateur Radio Emergency Service members serving in 47 states and territories, and whereas the Iredell Amateur Radio Emergency Services is part of the Iredell County Amateur Radio Society, or ICARS, with a membership of 41 amateur radio operators, and whereas Iredell County Amateur Radio Emergency Services participates in two field day exercises annually where they are graded against all other participating groups, and whereas at the 2018 Winter Field Day, Iredell County Amateur Radio Emergency Services was ranked first in the state of North Carolina, first in the section, and seventh in the nation. Um, is there a motion to adopt this resolution? Mr. Chairman, I move to we approve this. Okay. 
Motion to uh, adopt the resolution made by Commissioner Howe. Now, therefore, the Iowa County Board of Commissioners resolves to recognize the hard work and dedication of the men and women of Iredell County Amateur Radio Emergency Services and the consistently strong support of the organization in providing critical emergency radio communications to Iredell County, passed and approved by the Iredell County Board of Commissioners this 17th day of July 2018. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We do have several of the officers, members, and family members here, if you'd Mr. like Chairman, to, we need to vote. address them. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and have a vote. Okay. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, Those like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, could you all please stand? And, and uh, I'll tell you what, if you all could come up and just line up in here we'd like to get a picture with you and we can fold in behind you pretty impressed 41 years make it that's a good job <coughs> Well, we want to thank you all. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. That is truly impressive uh, results in terms of the competition, and uh, we uh, we sleep better knowing that you guys are standing by. So thanks a lot. At this time, um, we will take uh, out of order as uh, um, as Jones mentioned, item eight point six. Uh, which is a request from the fire services and emergency management to finalize approval for the transfer of the Anniston subdivision from South Iredell Fire Insurance District to the Mount Morin Fire Insurance District. Uh, any comments on that, Mr. Green? Just for clarification, Mr. Chairman, um, this is a part of the Anniston subdivision that was separated from the Mount Morin Fire Insurance District. A uh, part of that subdivision was in Mount Morin, part was in South Iredell. The only access to the entire subdivision is from Shearer's Road on the Mount Morn side. So it made sense from a response perspective to move the remaining parcels, which uh, were um, asked by the fire department if they would uh, uh, object or, or approve that, and they all signed the petition that they would agree to be moved into the different insurance district. Yeah. This is just to formalize it for the state. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any further uh, comments or questions of Mr. Green? Is there a motion? Yes, sir. I'd like to make a motion on that, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I, I guess I'll start off with upon the motion made by Commissioner Bowles, seconded by Commissioner. We don't have. We don't have to do all. Okay. Okay. Just right. motion to. Okay. The result. Okay. Uh, the commissioners of Iredell County approve a six-mile boundary line for Mount Warren Fire Department insurance district in accordance with the maps and descriptions filled this date filed this date with the board of commissioners and recorded in the minutes of this meeting said mount morn fire insurance district being described as follows and we have a map attached to it and that will uh, apply common sense to how we arrange fire districts and basically the closest department they're all coming at one time but the closest department responds first correct all right uh, any further discussion all in favor, please say aye. 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 Those like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Green. Sorry that didn't show up in my oh. electronic bill. I hear you. All right. At this time, we have the 
happy occasion to be able to recognize a uh, long-standing county employee who has uh, provided uh, expert advice and counsel to this board on many occasions uh, as it relates to insurance matters uh, in particular. Uh, and so at this time, I would like to uh, ask uh, Jean Hahn to please come up. And if you could also uh, have your family uh, as well. Okay, this evening there are uh, no appointments before the board. 
and we do have one public hearing uh, that is scheduled uh, to consider an economic development incentive for Project G. Uh, we are not in a position to proceed with that uh, this evening uh, because uh, another elected body uh, needs to uh, pass on this recommendation prior to us actually doing that. Uh, so we are going to uh, open the public hearing without any comment and then close the public hearing and continue this matter uh, for a uh, full public hearing on August the 7th at our next meeting. So, if I open the public hearing for consideration of an economic development incentive for Project G, and I am going to close the public hearing and continue it till August the 7th. Okay. At this time, uh, we'll move on to the administrative matters that uh, we reviewed and heard at length in our pre-agenda meeting, and these are matters that are typically of technical nature uh, and rather than tie up staff uh, late into the evening, uh, we uh, have them appear at uh, the 5 o'clock hour and review all of these. Uh, I would uh, uh, remind everyone that that is a uh, public meeting and uh, the general public is encouraged to attend. So, uh, Ms. Jones, if you would please uh, summarize uh, the matters uh, on the consent agenda. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The first item is a request from the Health Department for approval of budget amendment, budget amendment number one for additional WIC funds, which are Women, Infant, and Children funds, in the amount of $17,908. There was a request from Animal Services to accept a grant for $100,000 from the Petco Foundation to approve budget amendment number two. Request from the Emergency Communications Department for approval of an interlocal agreement with the Statesville Police Department to become a secondary public safety answering point. A request from administration and solid waste to approve the lease of the golf course property to Twin Oaks Golf Club, LLC. A request from the solid waste department to accept an award of the community waste reduction and recycling grant from the NCDEQ. It's a request from the finance department to approve budget amendment number three to accept an appropriate juvenile crime prevention council level two funding, and that's in the amount of $100,000. A request from the Finance Department to approve budget amendment number four to appropriate lottery funds to the Iredell Statesville schools to expand the classroom <coughs> space that resulted in code requirements, and this is in the amount of $612,761.29. A request from the Public Library for additional, for approval of budget amendment number five for a library services and technology grant in the amount of $10,695. A request approval of application for a Young Adult Library Service Association Symposium Scholarship from the State Library of North Carolina. Request from the Finance Department to approve budget amendment number six to appropriate contingency to the schools for school project permits. That's in the amount of $10,794. There's a request from Tax Administration for approval of June refunds and releases. And finally, a request from the Clerk to the Board for approval of minutes from the meetings on May the 10th and May the 14th, which were the budget workshops, June the 7th and June the 19th. Is there any uh, further comment on the uh, consent agenda? Is there a motion? Motion to approve. Motion by uh, Commissioner Norman. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Moving, I, and I would say just as, as if, you, if you heard, if you're listening to those, uh, there were several grants that were approved. I'm, I really want to give a shout out to our departments mm -hmm. for their uh, aggressive and effective grant writing proposals, which uh, are, are saving the tax dollar saving tax, do tax dollars for taxpayers and providing additional services that otherwise probably wouldn't be provided. So uh, kudos to all of the folks that spend the time to uh, try to uh, mine uh, the, the dollars that are available from nonprofit organizations, foundations, as well as uh, federal and state government. Uh, item nine, uh, announcement of vacancies occurring on, board on boards and commissions. We have one. Um, 
announcement for a vacancy on the Human Rights Committee of Partners Behavioral Health. Uh, <clears throat> we would encourage anyone who is interested in serving to uh, visit our website and to uh, get a uh, copy of the application and to submit that. Uh, we will uh, uh, hear that matter again in two weeks on August the uh, 7th when we will fill the position. Chairman, if I could interject here that this does require a certain person with uh, experience on this one. Um, the vacancy requires a person to be a mental health professional and or provide services to clients with intellectual or developmental disabilities. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Gaither. So there are some uh, requirements for that particular. So that all of that is listed on the website in terms of the qualifications required uh, when you're looking to uh, submit an application. Okay, now we move on to item 10, appointments to boards and commissions. We have uh, three vacancies on the Iredell County Planning Board, and uh, we have five qualified applicants. And in uh, reviewing the uh, history of the Planning Board's constitution and numbers, uh, we determined that uh, the board, which presently has nine members, uh, was originally 11 members. Uh, and uh, Commissioner McNeely can probably uh, uh, give a quick history of, uh, since he was on the board at that time, of why the board uh, was reduced by two members, uh, just for the record. Uh, I got mad at two people and fired them. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, we were 11 probably till approximately 2008, 2009 when we went into recession. And uh, we got to where we weren't meeting but about four or five times for the whole year because there were no rezonings. Uh, we'll use the term business got slow, you might say. And at that time, uh, we didn't have the uh, citizenry uh, wanting to volunteer like we do now. And so when we had two people opt off uh, their term, we decided just to move from 11 to 9, uh, mainly because we didn't have a lot going on, and we stayed there. Uh, I think the uh, circumstances have changed now. Uh, with the president we have doing such a great job, we've increased our economy, and now we're back open for business, and we need all the help we can get. Thank you, Commissioner McNeely. Um, the uh, process that we're going to uh, adopt here is to consider expanding the board back to its original constituted number of 11, given the increase in the uh, uh, business, as it were. Um, you know, planning board members, uh, when, when uh, they are reviewing packets, a number of them go out to the sites physically. And so in addition to having a, uh, a good geographic coverage within the county, which is preferable to have representation covering as much of the county as possible, and to provide the additional manpower and woman power to be able to uh, go out and visit these sites, uh, we think that it is uh, prudent to go ahead and increase this number since we have qualified applicants that have uh, put their hat in the ring and volunteered. So um, the process, however, to get there, uh, we will have to amend our project ordinance that will uh, require this going back to the planning board uh, for a recommendation when it comes back to us, and then we'll vote on that. So. Right now, there are two members on the board who are uh, currently serving and uh, are willing to continue to be reappointed, and there are three new applicants. So we are, uh, after discussing the matter, considering to go ahead and appoint, reappoint the two that are currently on the board and uh, refer this matter to the uh, planning board for their recommendation. And then once that comes back to us, uh, vote on to expand or not to 11 and uh, subsequently appoint the remaining three. So um, is there any further discussion or comments? Uh, is there a motion? You need to make a motion. Okay. 
Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make the motion that we reappoint Mr. Tracy Jenkins and Harry Tumas. Uh, they have volunteered to serve again, and that we hold the one appointment open until this is referred back to the planning board. Okay. Uh, motion by Vice Chairman Bowles. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Uh, and uh, is there a second formal motion? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion due to the increased growth and activity in the county and before we can consider appointing the other three applicants, uh, I would like to make a motion that we ask the planning board to review and make a recommendation per section 11.11 of our text amendment, increasing the planning board number from nine to 11 members. Motion by Commissioner Howe. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Okay. And we thank those uh, folks who have volunteered to serve. Uh, we move on to uh, one appointment to the Central Line of Workforce Development Board. Mr. Chairman, I would make the motion that we <coughs> appoint Mr. John Chalice of NGK Ceramics. He's volunteered to serve again. And, uh, to reappoint him to that board, sir. Okay. Uh, motion by Vice Chairman Bowles. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Okay, now we move on to uh, <coughs> unfinished business. I don't believe that there was any unfinished business identified at the pre-agenda. I would inquire as if there are any. No. We move on to uh, item 12, the public comment period. Uh, the last I looked, I don't believe any was, anyone had signed up. No, sir. Okay. Well, I will inquire of anyone that is here if you would like to avail yourself of the opportunity to uh, use the public comment period for three minutes. Uh, not hearing or seeing anyone uh, desiring uh, to be heard, we'll move on uh, to uh, new business. Uh, we will have one item of new business. As uh, most uh, everyone is aware, uh, when uh, Ron Smith, our county manager, uh, departed, uh, resigned to take a position at the Central Iowa Council of Government as the executive director, uh, we initiated a search uh, for a replacement. In the interim, I want to thank our uh, deputy county manager, uh, Beth Jones, who stepped up as the acting uh, county manager uh, during a time when uh, we were putting together a budget uh, and dealing with uh, the many uh, opportunities and uh, issues that uh, present themselves uh, in the in any given month uh, that we aren't aware of until they happen um, and I want to thank uh, uh, Ms. Jones for uh, the uh, absolute bang-up job that uh, she's done uh, during this interim period. Um, we uh, conducted a, uh, a search for the county manager uh, by casting a wide net. Uh, we uh, think Iredell County deserves uh, the very best uh, person for that job. Uh, we interviewed, well, we uh, did a uh, search that was uh, Nationwide, uh, we uh, received 55 applicants. Uh, we had a search committee uh, that initially reviewed uh, those applications and uh, boiled it down to five highly qualified applicants, four of whom we uh, interviewed as a board and uh, came to a uh, decision to uh, make an offer uh, to one of those individuals. And at this time, I would entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, on behalf of our board, I would like to thank the uh, search committee for all the work that they uh, have conducted. I want to thank all the qualified applicants for their interest in Ardell County. And after an extensive search, I would like to make a motion that we appoint Beth Jones as our next county manager with all duties, responsibilities, and authority effective immediately with an annual salary of 185000 with a $10,000 travel allowance and a $1,000 per year cell phone expense. Motion by Commissioner Halp. Any additional discussion? 
Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would just like to say that I, I think we have made a great selection here and look forward, Ms. Jones being our county manager for many, many years. Ms. Jones, we are so happy that you are here. We appreciate you. Thank you. And uh, I'll just say that uh, in the process, uh, Vice Chairman Bowles and myself uh, worked on uh, the selection committee uh, doing the first screening. And uh, even from that process, I have to say that uh, Ms. Jones uh, just stood head and shoulders uh, above uh, the competition, which was uh, uh, all very good, all highly qualified. Uh, so the people of Iredell County can feel very good about uh, uh, our new county manager. And uh, I hope I kept you all in suspense. Long <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say, Mr. Chairman. Head and shoulders, yeah. no doubt. Okay. So there's a motion on the floor. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Congratulations. Thank you. Ms. Thank Jones, you. thank you. Okay, now we get to hear from the county manager's report. We dropped the acting, the interim, and all the other adjectives. All the other names, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, first and foremost, I wanted to say thank you, not just to the board, but to the staff and the community. Everybody's been incredibly supportive. Um, it, I couldn't ask for a better place to work. I could not ask for a better board to work for, and I'm really excited about our future. So um, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the faith and confidence. And um, I look forward to really exciting things coming, coming in the future. With that being said, uh, just a quick update and report to the board. Our, our renovations for this building have begun. They started last week. And we're going to have some inconveniences for about the next six months. We are doing some structural repairs that are necessary. We're doing some roof work and some structural repairs. The primary entrance will be um, our main entrance. There are some other entrances that we have that we use as exits that we will not be able to use any longer because, as you notice, the scaffolding is going up, the fencing is, is in place. So our main entrance will be our primary entrance. There will be a covered canopy over that entrance, that ramp, and that will be there for safety reasons. So I don't want that to deter anyone. We are open. We are accessible, but that will be the entrance that everybody will need to come through, and this will here, be here beside between the annex and the main building where our handicap entrance is. The North Carolina Division of Waste Management's Consolidated Annual Report was just released, and I am pleased to announce that Iredell County is the number one in the state for total recycling per capita. So I think that speaks volumes to, um, to our citizenry for being conscious of the environment and recycling. Our EMS received the Gold Plus Award this year from the American Heart Association's Mission Lifeline Program. If you'll remember, last year was the first year that they applied for this award and received the Gold Award the first year. The second year they applied, they received the Gold Plus, which is the highest award that is, that is received. And this is something that um, recognizes the efforts of the EMS group for improving the quality of care for our STEMI patients. So it's, it's very important and, and a great service that we provide, and it's honorable to be recognized for that. I assume that there will be a formal presentation at a later date. They will. We'll have a representative that will be coming at our <coughs> next meeting on the 7th of August to make the formal presentation. So, and that's all that I have to report. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, we have already conducted uh, a closed session where we discussed uh, an attorney-client uh, Question pursuant to North Carolina General Statute 143-318.11, subsection A3. Uh, there is no uh, action to be reported out on that item. We also discussed a uh, personnel question pursuant to North Carolina General Statute 143.318.11, subsection A6. Likewise, there is no action to be taken. And we uh, finally discussed uh, an uh, issue concerning property acquisition. Uh, which is not ripe for uh, public uh, discussion yet. Um, North Carolina General Statute uh, 143-318.11, subsection A5, covered that matter. And finally, we discussed uh, 
three economic development uh, opportunities and issues uh, pursuant to North Carolina General Statute 143-318.11 subsection A4. And we have some motions to present on those matters. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to call for a public hearing on August the 7th, 2018, at 7 p.m., regarding an economic development incentive of $72,000 over a five-year period for Project Transformer based on a $4.4 million investment in Iredell County. Okay. Motion by Commissioner McNeely. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, those like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Uh, second motion. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make another motion to call for a public hearing on August 7, 2018 at 7 p.m. regarding an economic development incentive up to $58,200 over a five-year period for Project Knox based on a $3 million investment in Iredell County and I'm not done. I'm giving away more money. Up to an additional 58200 over an additional five-year period, provided the company maintains a $20 million taxable storage inventory during the additional five-year period. Okay. Motion by uh, Commissioner McNeely. Any further discussion? All it's favor. wheeling and dealing down yeah. here. Wheeling and dealing. All all for the benefit of the county. That's right. Uh, any uh, further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Suppose like sign. Motion carries unanimously. And finally, uh, behind door number three. Is <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to call for a public hearing on August 7th, 2018 at 7 p.m. regarding an economic development incentive not to exceed $3 million over a seven-year period for project boxes based on an investment range between $20 million and $175 million in Ardell County. Motion by Commissioner Howe. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Uh, I believe we have exhausted the agenda, even as adjusted. Um, is there any further business to come before the County Commission? Hearing none, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Motion Made. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those likes, aye. Motion carries unanimously. We are adjourned.